Today we're going to talk about the fact that feelings aren't facts. As a therapist, that was this was a real revelation because in my psychodynamic training, I was taught to focus on feelings as though feelings are center stage. But guess what? As leaders and as human beings, when we put feelings before outcomes, when we put the individual feelings of one person ahead of the collective, we get in our own way and we certainly make messes. On an individual level, we have to know when we're telling ourselves a story that generates a feeling. For example, I'm no good at giving presentations. Is that a fact? Or is that something that you tell yourself that creates a feeling of fear and then you tell it again and again and again, and by the time you have to give the presentation, you're so frightened that you can't do it. Well, that's that self-fulfilling prophecy there that just happened. You told your brain you couldn't do it, and lo and behold, you didn't. And your feelings drove your behavior. So let's change that scenario around. Let's not focus on what we're feeling and let's focus on what we have to do and how to get better at doing it. These stories that we tell ourselves are not helpful and they generate fear and other negative feelings that stop us from doing our best. So this week, in your journals, write down all of the stories that you tell yourself that undermine your performance. Write down what you're feeling. And if you find yourself writing, I feel like an imposter. I feel like a fraud. I feel stupid. Those aren't really feelings. Those are judgments that cause you to feel embarrassed and ashamed of yourself. And you are causing yourself to feel that. Let go of those fears that cause you to shut down.